2020 Newton Classic Shootout waiting for the last race of the day presented by Backtrack and Nike the men's 300 meters at the sprinting hub of South Africa Altier the Villiers Stadium Timber. It's a fantastic day for athletics look at the weather it's just beautiful there was threats of lightning earlier but everything is cleared out the young athletes already warming up the track to make sure it's a good day the prestige college marimba band if you've heard these people they make your heart smile 300 meters we're ready for action Arden is going to be a fast one Newton Classic Shootout 2020 race as we get ready for a fantastic race Damini Tapelo Porra he's going to be one of the favorites he's won this title before but Clarence Munyai has since then taken over winning three in a row Munyai is not here after hurting his hand so Porra will be one of the favorites for this race but don't forget about the youngster Sino Sipo Dambile he's run a time of 20.3 in the 200 meter already so he's going to be a very quick one but Porra a strong finisher Rivaldo Roberts in lane number two and in lane number one with Ernest Narib The 300 meter men are off and look on the outside Makusha and Zakite Nena They are absolutely flying Rivaldo Roberts also got off to a very good start But Tapelo Bora and Dambile are trying to fight back But at this stage it's Zakite Nene Temba Zakite Nene looking so powerful on the outside and Look how quick he is Ngoni Makusha trying to hold on But it looks like it's gonna be Tapelo Bora pushing hard into the end And then he looks like he's gonna be taking this one But Sino Super Dambile will not let go of him He's sticking on and holding on Tapelo Bora looks like he's gonna take it But Sino Super Dambile Tapelo Bora Sino Super Dambile, Tapelo, it's gonna be Sino Super Dambile, the youngster takes it in a phenomenal time, unofficially 32.12, Sino Sipo, Dambile, the young man is a fighter, Arjun, you're gonna respect the character of this young man, he's only turning 18 this year, and that's what he's already showcasing. Tapelo Pora never fails to put on a show, and he's rewarded with a PB year today, but he has to settle for the silver. And there's Rivaldo Roberts and Kyle Apple, and here's your final results in first place, Sino Sipo Dambile. Dambile winning in a time of 32.10 that is very close to the record which was set by Clarence Munyai three years ago in second place Tapelo Pora in a time of 32.13 and in third place Zagiti Nene bringing it home for AZN with a performance. Uh, honestly it felt really great the aim was to come here and get a PB so that's exactly what I got. Uh, this was a good race uh, I started fast 60, six, first 60 meters I uh, ran fast, then from the cave, I just felt my legs, like she was building up, and the guys just passed through, and I was like, let me just relax. And I'm happy that I ran a national record for Zimbabwe at 33.03, uh, so I'm excited. Uh, not the race that I wanted, but just happy to be a part of the classic shootout. It's the first time, so. I came here with one plan, one plan only, that is to, to run a, a good first 200. I knew uh, I had uh, uh, Tapelo and Damili on my inside, so. I just, in order to be in contention, I just had to make sure that the first one goes out, uh, I got it uh, pretty fast. And that's exactly what I did, and just try to hang on for the last 50. Uh, with how things went, uh, I'm pretty happy, I'm pretty chuffed with uh, how I executed uh, my race plan. It's just that last 50 I need to work on, and uh, hopefully by the time I go back to that 400, uh, everything will be in tip top shape. Actually, my, my aim was to get a very aggressive first 50 meters. I just to catch up with the, with the young man, but then the boy was too strong, so I had to push um, a bit harder when I got to the 150. Then it really costed a lot. Well, I think from the start it didn't go according to plan. Um, the last 100 meters, a bit of lactic that just came through. Uh, as soon as I got to that, to that last 20 meters, I just felt him kicking and then I knew that oh, he caught me. <laughs> I enjoyed a lot, the atmosphere is crazy. This is a good meet, uh, the kids uh, they are supporting and uh, yeah, it's just a nice atmosphere. Hey, I must say uh, that, that, that uh, 300 lineup it was crazy man, we had two international athletes. Uh, it's a pity that Clarence had to pull out, uh, but I mean that lineup was, was strong man, that's, that's worth like a world challenge really. <laughs> yeah, that was a good lineup, uh, Tapelo Pora, uh, Sinesipo Dambile, those guys are fast and yeah, uh, it was a good race. Uh, the crowd was amazing. And the setup was perfect. I'm happy with the classic shootout. Looking forward to run again next year. I think it's amazing, you know, um, also to run in the crowd, but this, you know, like to mix it with the school score competition, just for the entertainment for the crowd and for the athletes. Just the atmosphere is very good. The vibe, man. Like every year, I try to make sure that I travel for the shootouts. Uh, 
it's a good indicator on how my season is going to look. So, uh, uh, like, I love the crowd, man. The crowd is amazing. I don't really get to experience such in, in KZN or any other league meets. So this is, this is just an epic environment that uh, I wouldn't mind doing year after year. Really. So I just want to thank uh, Newton for hosting this uh, event. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, big shout out to Nike. Uh, big shout out to uh, Backtrack for hosting the, the Newton uh, Classic Shootout. Um, thank you, um, Backtrack and the Newton Shootout for hosting us. It was, um, it was a, a, a really good event. So I want to say thank you for Nike and Backtrack Sport for bringing the Newton Classic Shootout.